I'm Susan Castriota. I'm the inventor of the Katina Safe All Glass Vented Cooking Lids and the plate cover I made for the microwave. So tonight I'm going to do one of my recipes. I do my own recipes and the recipes are all kind of geared in uh, to when you use my products, the Kachina Safe Lid and the Cover and Cook. And tonight I'm going to do a shrimp fajita. And this has now become my very favorite dish to do. And I have a recipe that is either for shrimp or salmon fajitas. Now that recipe I've just completed. It's not on my website, kachinasafe.com, just yet. But it will be in the next couple of days. So make sure that you go onto my website in the next few days and check out the recipe. So tonight I'm going to do the shrimp fajita. Now, and I'm using the microwave. I'm not using any cooking oil, so this is a healthy meal. You're not using the oil, so it's a low-fat meal also. And it's really, really healthy. And if you guys could just smell the red onion, it's really pretty amazing. So it's going to be peppers and red onion and a little bit of cilantro and some shrimp. It's just a great, great meal. All right, so I'm going to get started, and I'm going to use my products. Now, there's the 8 and the 9-inch lid. These are all glass lids I invented, and they have a vent right here, so they're steaming lids. So I'm actually going to steam the shrimp. I'm going to steam all the vegetables. Super, super healthy way to eat. So I'm going to start with the vegetables first. And I've already cut them up in really nice strips. Look how beautiful these are. I just love going to the market right now because all this stuff is fresh. I've got fresh corn. I've got fresh uh, local peppers. It's really, really, um, really fun time to go and try out new recipes with lots of vegetables. So I took a whole green pepper, a whole red pepper, and a whole yellow pepper. I sliced them up, and these are going to go into one of my giant bowls. Let me move this one bowl because I'm so you can see right here. All right, so this is my kind of go-to glass microwave bowl that I love to do my recipes. If you've seen me do my recipes on Amazon Live, I like to use this because it's got the handle and the spout. So I've got three large peppers in here. I have a half of a red onion, very strong, nice and flavorful. That's going to get mixed in also. Then I'm going to use a half of a cup of water. This is going to be my steaming uh, mechanism is the water mixed with the microwave and the Kachina Safe Lid. It's going to be steam cooked. Very healthy because when you steam, micro steam in the microwave, you retain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that are so important to all these nice fresh, uh, fresh vegetables that you're using. All right, now I have taken out one tablespoon of this seasoning mix and I put that aside for the shrimp. So the rest of it is going to get mixed in with the vegetables and the water. I'm just going to mix this up a little bit, you know, kind of get that mix because I'm going to cook this for three minutes on high and then I'm going to take it out, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna put it back in the microwave for another three minutes. Then we're gonna have like a nice sauteed vegetable. Oh my gosh, this smells so amazing. Oops, I forgot a couple of peppers. We don't wanna forget any peppers. Okay, so now <clears throat> here's the key, the Kachina Safe Lid. This is the nine inch. You can use the eight inch or the nine inch. Either way, they fit on many size bowls, pots, pans, I'll show you that in a little bit, and mugs, but these are primarily, I designed these to fit onto bowls. All right, so I put this into the microwave for three minutes on high. All right, okay, and then I'm gonna take it out, stir it a little bit, put it back in there for three minutes. So I want to tell you why I designed the Kachina Safe Lid. I was really concerned about using plastics in the microwave, as so many people are. I mean, this 
is what I was covering my bowls with. And you know, by the time I was done microwaving, did you ever have this where it's like sticking to your food? It's really disgusting. So all these chemicals are actually leaching onto your food and it's not healthy. And it's not really, you know, it's just not good for you or the food or the environment. So I got rid of that and I invented the Kachina Safe Lid. Then people started asking me, what do you have to replace this disgusting thing? It's a plastic plate cover. They melt. They harbor bacteria and viruses. They're just dirty. So, got rid of that, invented the cover and cook. This is all glass, borosilicate glass. The venting is right here. I designed the venting with this really nice scallop. Then, you flip it over and you can use it as a two-core baking dish, not only for your microwave, but your oven too. So I do my quiches, um, I even do um, some of my chocolate chip uh, pie recipes in here. I do pumpkin pie, all kinds of fun things. And once again, recipes are on kachinasafe.com. So when you do purchase my products, that you get them delivered from Amazon, you can go onto my website, kachinasafe.com, and take a look at over 80 recipes that I have in PDF file. So you don't have to worry about you know how long you cook broccoli, how long you steam broccoli in the microwave, it's all on my recipe page. So this is the cover and cook. This is the plate cover. Let's see how we're doing on our um, three minutes. And I want to show you as soon as I'm going to take this out, stir it, but I will show you, uh, explain to you how I do corn on the cob. The best way to do corn on the cob right now, I mean it's in season, it's so tasty, and no more Boiling the water on the stove top, forget it. Don't do that again once you have the Kachina Safe products because you're not going to have to do that. It's an easy and a great way to steam cook your corn on the cob. All right, let's check this out. So once again, this is in the, the vegetables are in the microwave for three minutes. I'm gonna stir them up, put them back in there for three minutes, and while they're in there for the last three minutes, I'm going to put the um, shrimp together with the, um, the remaining um, fajita seasoning. So let's see, what else do we have? Oh, there we go. All right, let's see how hot this is. This isn't too bad. Now, in the next three minutes, I'm definitely going to use my mini mitts because this is going to be hot. It's actually hot right now. So it's always nice to have oven mitts, and, and I'll tell you about those in a little bit. But I want to show you something. Look at the steam. It's the steam that comes off of here and that no nice moisture. This is steam cooking your vegetables. I mean, it's really a great way to cook your food. You know what? It's, it's the summer. You don't really want to be, you know, hovering over a stove or an oven. And guess what? You... This is a healthy way to cook your vegetables. Look at that. You don't have to saute them in all that oil. All right, so we've got this stirred up. Going to put this back into the microwave on high for three more minutes. All right. Okay, so I also want to talk about my oven mitts because I invented these oven mitts and I've got them in several different colors on Amazon. I've got the uh, turquoise and the white, and I have the black and the white. And I invented these because I wanted something small for my hands so I could get the small things out of the microwave. So what you're gonna get, this is a little oven mini mitt, and the top part is for the four fingers, the bottom is the thumb. So you've got this nice little kind of a puppet or a slipper for your hand. This is a textured double neoprene. These are patented, as are my glass uh, lids and my um, cover and cook. So this is a double, special double um, textured neoprene that's gonna protect your hands from something hot. So once again, these are like a mini mitt. This is not, you know, for any coverage up here, but just for here for your fingers. So if you're taking something out of the microwave or if you've got something um, that's you know smaller and you need to grip from the oven or if you're bringing the rack out these are perfect they're also good for opening jars 
So what you get on Amazon is you get the set of three, and this is not only a little holder, but a little pouch, but it's also a hot pad too. So I've got the black and the white polka dot, and I have the turquoise and the white available right now on Amazon. All right, so let's see what we've got here. So I've got a minute, a little bit more than a minute. So I'm going to show you what I did with the, um, with the shrimp. Now, I used frozen shrimp, and I got the peeled and the deveined shrimp. I thawed it overnight. So I've got about 24 medium shrimp right here. And I'm going to add one-third of a cup of water, because once again, I'm steaming kind of a poaching the um, shrimp. Then a tablespoon of the um, fajita mix that I had taken out of that little pouch. So I'm going to mix this up and you would not believe how easy it is to cook shrimp in the microwave using the Kachina Safe products because you're steam cooking the shrimp and the fish. All right, so with these, I'm going to put these in the microwave for just two minutes. I'll take them out, stir them a little bit, and see just how much longer I have to put them in there. It could be 15 seconds, it could be another minute. minute. A lot of times it depends on your microwave wattage too. So you have to kind of adjust my recipes to your microwave. All right, so um, this is gonna be the shrimp. I'm gonna put that right there. Now, I'm going to use one of my oven mitts to get this out because at this point, after six minutes, it will be hot. Uh, as you know, glass gets hot, as, just like plastic gets hot in the microwave. But when you're cooking something, it's going to be hot. All right, so once again, I wanna show you that steam. Look at that steam. That steam is what's cooking these vegetables absolutely beautiful vegetables. I mean, talk about healthy. This is such a good meal. It is an incredible, easy, quick and delish meal. All right, so I'm just gonna keep the lid on there while I do the shrimp. Just to kind of keep the vegetables nice and moist and nice and warm. All right, so now I'm going to do the shrimp. I'm gonna put it in the microwave on high for two minutes. And this way I'm using the eight inch lid, which is also sold separately as an eight inch, or you can get the eight and the nine inch as a set. All right, so I'm gonna do two minutes here. And that's 24 shrimp. Now, I also have this recipe, right on the recipe I have either shrimp or how to do the salmon. Now with the salmon, um, I took frozen um, Alaskan fillets I thawed them and then I cut them up almost cubed and then I put them on a plate just like this and I covered them, well, oh wait one second, I put a little bit of water and I put that tablespoon of the um, fajita seasoning and then I covered the salmon with the cover and cook and then I put those into the microwave and the, um, the instructions for that are also on the website and then basically I, you know, the vegetables are the same way. And you can also do chicken. I mean, you know, you can adjust this recipe, but the important thing is you're using the microwave. You don't have to dirty any um, frying pans on the stove top. All right, so what do we got here? All right, so I want to tell you about the corn on the cob. So corn on the cob is so good in the microwave and this four, this is like four minutes, four to five minutes for corn on the cob. So what I did, and look at that, the steam coming up, all this really, really nice moisture, that steamed your corn on the cob. So what I did, I took the corn on the, I took the corn, I cut this part off, and then I broke um, the handle off, the handle is what I call it, and then, I could probably put like three on a plate. I added just a little bit of water. I covered it with the cover and cook, put it in the microwave for four to five minutes, really depending on 
you know, how big the kernels are. I think these are, um, I think these are the local farms. So yeah, this is like the, um, the mixed salt and pepper. So um, I put them in the microwave for like four and a half minutes. Really, really great, great corn on the cob. So, and you can do it without the husk too. If you just get them at the store and they're already with the husk taken off, same way, exactly the same way. All right, let's see what this shrimp looks like. All right, so this shrimp actually is cooking a little quicker than I thought it would. This is good. This smells so yummy. All right, so what I'm gonna do, there's a couple of pieces that just might need a little more cooking. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put those on the very outside of the bowl because when you use the microwave, you, it cooks from the outside in. So I'll put the ones that are pretty cooked already, I'll put those on the inside. All right, so you know what? I'm just gonna do like a 15 second on this because I don't want gummy shrimp. So I don't wanna overcook. So let me do like 15 seconds there you go on that one and then what I should have done is probably put I should, probably should have put the shells on top of that because the shells you know these are only going to be like 20 seconds in the microwave so what I'm going to do I'm just going to do one shell on here Let's see how these are looking All right, and this is about four servings, and I'm sure most people, most people probably eat two of these, so it might turn into two servings. All right, so I've got my shrimp here. Take a look at that. Beautiful looking shrimp. Super easy. It's all about quick and delish. I'm all about quick and delish. Everything has to be quick and delish. All right, so I'm gonna do my veggies first. Oh my gosh, is this gorgeous? I mean, look at the colors on this. This is so beautiful. You know, it's such a pretty presentation and it's good and it's healthy, it's low fat. And my dogs are smelling this and they're coming off of their little perch thinking they're going to get something. So now I've got this nice shrimp I'm gonna put on here and then I have some cilantro, some fresh from my garden. Cilantro, I'm just gonna sprinkle that. This is optional, I know some people aren't big fans of cilantro. And then a little dollop, if you want, of um, sour cream, and you've got this amazing meal. Really, quick and delish, super easy, made in the microwave. All right, so. I'm going to just, well, you know what? I'm just going to kind of leave this right here. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the products because these are sold on Amazon. The Cover and Cook, when I launched this on Launchpad, Amazon Launchpad, it became the number one kitchen product. And it has great reviews. It's a wonderful product because it's so versatile. You know, you just flip it over and now you have a serving baking dish that you can use in the microwave or the oven up to 450 degrees. So this is a great product, versatile, and this is sturdy. Hear that. This is industrial grade borosilicate glass. This is that original vintage cookware. I like to show this because this was my grandmother's. This is from 1960. So this is heirloom quality. I mean, you know, obviously it's old, but this glass, this borosilicate, is the same as the cover and cook in my Kachina safe lid because I wanted something that was that was sturdy, and you can hear that right there, nice and sturdy, industrial grade. So this is the cover and cook. Now it's for reheating, it's for cooking, it's steaming in the microwave or flip it over for the oven. But I wanna show you something. If you're serving this meal and maybe you just wanna keep it warm for a while, how about that? You just put the cover and cook on. 
Maybe that uh, one of the family members hasn't showed up yet, shown up for dinner. So you just put this on there, and it'll keep it warm. And you can do your corn on the cob, you can do all kinds of vegetables and fish and potatoes and lots of things with the cover and cook. Now let me get back to the um, Cucina Safe Lid. The eight inch is sold separately just like this in this package and this fits on many size bowls mugs and i want to show you something pots and pans say you're um doing some you're reheating some tomato sauce or soup on the stove top um, this is great to cover your pot because the vents the three vents right here that steam is going to escape then you're not going to have that boil over now if you have to maybe some little sausages or something and you have a little bit of water in here this is perfect because you get to monitor your food and that steam is going to escape right here it's not going to boil over onto your stove top so these are splatter shields these are splatter guards splatter shields for the microwave that keep your microwave nice and clean and for your stove top as well if you're going to use it that way so the Kachina Safe Lids, the 8 inch, the 9 inch, these are great for microwave and for stove top and the cover and cook is great for the microwave or the oven. So once again, I've got recipes on KachinaSafe.com and you can see some of my recipes that I've done on my Amazon live streams. You can see those on my YouTube channel at Castriota. So, I wish it were earlier because <laughs> I would be eating this for my dinner, but guess what? It's going to be tomorrow. You know what? It might even be tomorrow's breakfast. You never know. This also could be a good breakfast. So, this is the shrimp fajita that I made in the microwave using the Kachina Safe Lid. So, once again, I'm Susan Castriota. Thank you so much for joining me for Recipe Night and check out my products on Amazon. So have a great evening and thanks so much for joining me.